Okay, here we go. This is Garrett. Tears to Joy Ministries.org. This video is called What is the Main Purpose of Battling Against Loneliness? Now, we have a lot of videos on the topic of battling against loneliness. So, this is going to be a very short video that is going to tackle one topic and one topic only. Now, we learned in the other videos that God could have a thousand reasons why he's having us battle against loneliness. But I want to choose one of them. I want to choose just one of the big ones, one of the main reasons why God is having us battle against loneliness. I would say the number one reason why God orders, I'm sorry, well, why God plans and orders loneliness to attack us is to lead us to his son, Jesus Christ. That is the number one reason why you're battling loneliness and why I've been battling loneliness off and on, off and on my entire life. Yeah, my whole life, from the age of five all the way to today. God is using loneliness to bless you and me, child of God. He's using the loneliness to force us to seek out Jesus more, to push us to start praying for help, He's keeping our friends away from us on purpose to encourage us to go to his son, Jesus, to motivate us to go to his son, Jesus. And he's using a form of pain. He's using a demon that we call sometimes a demon of loneliness. He's using an evil spirit that is oozing out of him the feelings of loneliness and it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. Loneliness is one of the giants that I battle against. It's a giant in my life, and it's a giant in many of your lives too. But I want you to know God is using it for our good. Even though it hurts, even though this demon can be vicious, even though the tormenting can make you cry, make you do drugs, make you get drunk, even though the tormenting can get so bad, sometimes you feel like killing yourself, all of this is true, but God is using it for your good. And if you could learn this, if you could only learn this, your whole life is going to start to change around. If you can only understand what I'm saying here, you're going to feel you're going to start to feel so much better. When you learn that God is using the loneliness for your good, it changes your entire outlook on life. It changes your view of God. It changes your view of how God uses the demons. It changes your entire perspective of suffering and loneliness when you're starting to realize it's all for your good. It's leading you to Jesus, causing you to pray more, causing you to seek him out more, causing you to be more humble. It's crushing your pride. And the main purpose of all of this the main purpose of why God is keeping men and women out of your life is to motivate you and push you to his son, Jesus Christ. And there is nothing better in the world than when God encourages you to go to Jesus. And God can encourage you to go to his son in all different kinds of ways. But one of the main ways he uses in his worldwide uh, church body is loneliness. 
God is using loneliness to draw you closer to his son in a one-on-one -on -one relationship. And this is fantastic news. This is wonderful news. This is incredible news. So I pray this video is going to bless some of you. I pray this video is going to change the way you've been thinking, change the way you've been feeling, change your theology. I pray this video is going to really, really bless you. And when you change your thinking about loneliness, it'll change your attitude. And when you change your attitude, it'll change your latitude. And it's going to bless you. You've got to learn this. You have got to learn how God is using loneliness to bless you. Praise God for all of you. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, sometimes I get drunk. Yes, the tormenting can be terrible. Sometimes I feel like killing myself. But I'm telling you right now to your face, God is using all of this for your good and for my good. And we are slowly, ever so slowly getting closer to Jesus. And this is amazing news. And this is fantastic. And this is wonderful. Praise God for using loneliness in our lives. Praise God. Praise God.